Hey, Chosen Ones. Hey, new Chosen Ones. I am glad you have joined this video. Welcome. I pray everyone is having a blessed and awesome day in the Lord. I want to talk to you all today about becoming married to the Lord. Becoming married to the Lord. I think a lot of us got it twisted. We seem to seek out everything else other than God. We don't keep God first in our lives. Most of us don't keep God first in our lives. And so what I want to say is that in order to receive the right things you need to receive from God, that peace that love, that joy, that wholeness, you have to seek God first. Be married to the Lord first. There is no other way. There is no other way than that. Everyone wants to be married. Everyone wants to be married. But you have to ask yourself, are you seeking the Most High God? Are you seeking his love? Are you trying to be in marriage, communion, holy matrimony with Jesus first? We must do that first at all times. It's not, it's not something that you could just say, oh, choose to do. It's something that you must do. You must do. I want to read to you all the scripture in Psalm 139, verse 14 through 17. And it says, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written. The days fashioned for me when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. This is in Psalms 139. And I love Matthew 6. 33 also because it clearly clearly tells us to seek the kingdom of God first and everything else shall be added to you meaning that whatever you need will be added to you whatever God is going to bless you with it will be added to you not saying that you will not receive any blessings from God but you want the best right so that means that we need to be whole Thank you, Holy Spirit. We need to have wholeness with our Father. Seeking Him first above anyone else, any other. No woman, no man, no children, no spouse, nobody, no parents shall come before God. Before God. Because we need to be married to God. We need to be married to the Lord, to the Most High. We need to be married to Him first before we try to go out and find relationships and every other ships because you know what? When you do it the wrong way, you get wrong results. So we must seek our Heavenly Father first. First, start your day off every morning with Him. With Him. Start your day off with Him. Get in relationship with him. Commune with him every day. Every day. I'm telling you all from experience, it is the best thing ever. It is the best thing ever to know that you have a friend. If you don't have any other friend, you know that you have a friend in God. You know that he is here always and forever. No one can compare. No one can compare. I have another scripture that I want to read to you all really fast. This scripture is in Ecclesiastics 3 verse 11. 
He has made everything beautiful in its time. That's all. So, he has made everything beautiful in his time. Meaning, whatever you want. Whatever your heart's desire. Whatever you feel like that you do not have. That is absolutely not true. Because God makes everything beautiful in his time. His time. Not our time. His time. His time. Keyword, his time. You all get into a great relationship with God and never lose it. Keep it. That is the best friend ever. He is the best friend ever. ever. He is our father. He is our husband. He is everything to us. Everything that you need and more. Seek it through God first. And I pray you all have a blessed and awesome day. And I just pray that this word has blessed you. Bless your heart. Bless your spirit. In Jesus name. That everyone will continue to seek the father's face forever and always. And I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Blessings to you all.